guys, what's going on? I'm Colin with Tell You How, and today I wanted to show you some of the basics of, well, motion graphics, you know, like muzzle flashes and stuff. Happens to be my favorite thing to do on the computer with this new computer that I got here. Anyways, what I consider the basics. Let's learn how to do that. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in to this tutorial. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and apologize for this terrible mic quality. My blue snowball mic uh, broke, and so I'm going to have to get a new one. They're going to send me a new one, so that'll be here before too long. And I also apologize for the lack of videos lately. We, we, uh, Jake and I, the two, uh, the two people on the channel, both have jobs now. Uh, we're working 20 plus hours a week, plus going to school, so you can imagine uh, <laughs> that there might be a little bit of a time crunch there, but. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Uh, we will be using After Effects, and the muzzle flash that I used was actually a an element from VideoCopilot.net. Um, if you haven't checked them out, you should, because they are awesome, and they have all kinds of great effects. So I recommend checking them out, going to their website, VideoCopilot.net. Um, but you don't have to use a muzzle flash from VideoCopilot.net. I can't show you where to get the other mus muzzle flashes because that would you know technically count as copyright but I'm just saying if you do a Google search on Google images for a muzzle flash on a black background you may find something you never know just throwing it out there anyways uh, so yeah aside from that that weird intro that I had there um, I will be showing you how to do all of this it's all yeah I have it all set up here and so uh, in After Effects, to start it off, you want to go ahead and make a new composition. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. I guess I'll name mine uh, Muzzle Flash 1, since I already made one Muzzle Flash. Make sure it's uh, according to whatever camera settings you used. I had 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. Um, I will also leave the download link for this footage that I shot of myself shooting a fake gun sounds pretty ridiculous but <laughs> I'll leave it for you guys to download so if you don't have a camera you can go ahead and mess with that and uh, attempt to make this effect on your own anyways I already have all my footage in my browser here so go ahead and drop in uh, just this main footage of me sitting down talking and uh, yeah I guess what I'm not actually shooting <laughs> who would have thought no but we'll go ahead and trim this this uh, this comp down to make it a little more applicable so since After Effects does have to do RAM previews and it's not a full-time uh, program, we're going to and make it as small as we can and just get it in that area that we're working with. So that looks good. So if we do a RAM preview right here, yeah, it's just basically me shooting the gun. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get started, we're going to find the first frame by the way, I'm using page up and page down to go frame by frame. You can see I stick the gun out and pop. Okay, so we're going to look for my finger. There it is. You see it pressing down. So we're going to go to that frame right where my finger presses down. And uh, what you're going to have to do if you downloaded a, um, a muzzle flash from an outside source it doesn't have to be a movie, uh, like a movie file. If it's just a picture, you're only going to use it for two frames. So if it's just like a picture of a muzzle flash on top of a black background, that'll work just fine. Have no fear about that. We're going to zoom in like a lot here. Okay, so let's put this muzzle flash and we'll line it up with that frame. So as you can see, there it is. Now this is this is pretty easy, but the thing is that most people mistake is that making a good solid looking muzzle flash in After Effects is not just dropping that that picture with you know the muzzle flash right on top of the video and lining it up and that's it. No, that's not really how it works. You got to have good smoke, good uh, good environment, and a good sound effect. I mean, I've come to learn <laughs> just because I I always wondered you know what is it about these movies that they their like elements look so great and I just I use the same stuff I can't get it to look good sound is a huge key you have to have sound effects for every movement anything that you know that, that would have a sound in real life you need to put a sound effect in it in a video so 
great tip for you guys there. Um, if you're ever wondering, you know, why is this not coming out good, check all your sound effects. Just throwing it out there. But anyways, we're gonna, what we're going to do is going to go on ahead and go... Since I'm kind of pointing this at an angle, uh, the gun anyways, you know, it's not pointed like straight to the side. Um, it's kind of coming out the camera in a way. We're going to go to the rotation. And I'm going to turn 3D on for this uh, layer. So that way I can have three different types of rotations. If I rotate it on the... Uh, let's see, which one would it be here? The Y axis. Yes, the Y axis. I can kind of make it pointed in the same direction the gun is at, if you know what I mean. And then uh, we'll just move it, rotate it on the Z a little bit to get it nice and lined up. And there you go, guys. It really doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, it's going to be two frames long, so as long as, uh, as, long as the muzzle flash is looks like it's on the gun then that'll be fine what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the stopwatch on the Z rotation actually we'll just click on all of them because I'm not quite sure which one it is that we're gonna move but and then we're gonna go to the position just click P for position click the stopwatch on that and we're gonna go to the second frame with the muzzle flash and as you can see the gun uh, the kick on the gun moves back so we'll move this up press R go back to the rotation and we will adjust that rotation according to the gun. So now you can see if we go through frame by frame, I shoot, the muzzle flash goes off, and then goes some smoke. Now that's that's the main reason I'm using these from the uh, video copilot is because they do have smoke integrated into them. Um, if you're getting one offline that doesn't have smoke, like say it's a picture file and you're just dropping out the background, which by the way, if you if you are using a picture file and it's just like a muzzle flash on a black background what you want to do is go to the mode and then go to overlay or screen you want to go to screen and that'll basically just take get rid of the black so it's just a muzzle flash and you just make it two seconds long in front of the gun <clears throat> and it'll basically look exactly like that but it won't have smoke so what I suggest you do is go find a YouTube tutorial on how to how to generate smoke and after effects and then put it along with that and you'll have a nice looking muzzle flash but anyways, moving on, uh, there's that, but that's only half of it. So what we're going to do now is go to the second the second shot that I faked that didn't actually happen. So right there, as you can see. So we'll, just to make it easy on ourselves, I don't know what this is. A random track in there. Anyways, just to make it easy... Oh no, sorry about that. There's random... Well, I don't understand what this is here. It's almost like there's like little duplicates that don't need to be in there, but... I'm going to go to this right here. Second shot happens right at that point. So, press Control D on the layer that you already have of the muzzle flash. It'll just duplicate it. We'll line it up right here. Um... Now, you're probably going to want to uncheck the position and rotation stopwatch because I doubt that it's going to be the exact same. But it could be very close, so you never know. See, the ro I'm actually not going to uncheck the rotation uh, whenever I keyframe the rotation because that actually is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the position, uncheck that. We're going to line it up like we need it to be. Then we're going to recheck the position so it starts a new keyframe. We're going to go to that second frame and then we're going to line it up again. And as you can see the rotation is already twisting like it should be. And that just makes it easier on us so we don't have to do more. But as you can see if we do a little ramp preview real quick two very basic looking muzzle flashes. And that's that's uh, okay. It's very amateurish. I just don't like to leave it off right there. I like to get the best effect possible. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and duplicate our original footage so press control D, duplicate that. We'll go to the first frame of the first muzzle flash. And we're going to go ahead and get the pen tool real quick. And we're going to draw areas where it would be highlighted. Where, okay, say if a muzzle flash went off, it's going to be, for that split second, it's going to be very bright in some spots. So my face would probably um, get a lot of light. So what we're going to do here is uh, just come in here and draw around my face. Uh, 
my stomach area would probably get a lot of light so roughly you want to make it look kind of natural it's not going to be like a perfect circle this table I'm going to draw around because that would probably get a lot of light and uh, and my arm would probably pick up some light too now we're going to go to the mode on this one that we just drew all the weird shapes on we're going to set it to add so that makes everything look very bright now we're going to press F or my bad we're going to press M on that layer and it's going to pull up all the masks that we just made press control A to select all of them press F for feather and then adjust the feather so feather basically makes it to where it's not so harsh so as you can see if we turn off these it kind of looks like uh, like it's light like it should look okay so what we want to do is basically trim that layer down to where it only goes over th where the muzzle flash is so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the, the where the muzzle flash starts alt begin bracket and that's gonna trim it that way go to where it ends and alt end bracket and now it's only two frames long so it only lasts right where the muzzle flash lasts see my footage right here is actually so uh, when I shoot the the shots are almost so identical looking that I can literally just duplicate what we just did and move it over for the second muzzle flash and it'll actually uh, work the exact same as if I just went and drew a bunch of new uh, you know if I got the pen tool and just drew a bunch of new masks but it, as you can see it, it works fine for that one as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and as you can see now if you if you're footage is not as close the shots aren't as close I recommend you, you go do that process once more basically just duplicate the bottom layer again draw uh, draw the masks set it to add on the mode and then uh, trim it down to where it's only for two frames so we're gonna give it a little preview here again and it looks uh, it's looking good now the reason that this probably you're like well this doesn't really I mean there's <laughs> that's not really that effective well the thing is is I haven't put uh, this pistol sound effect which I actually uh, did create I mixed a bunch of sound effects together I used Freddy W's tutorial on sound for it and I mixed a ton of uh, sounds together and I got uh, a, a very clean sounding cinematic pistol uh, pistol sound <laughs> a little redundant there but um, the thing is, is a real gun sound, a real gunshot does not sound good on a video. So you have to make it, you know, be very cinematic and, and, and very outgoing. So what I'm going to do is this pistol sound basically is like a click boom. So I'm going to take the waveforms down. And you can see the boom happens right here at this big blast area on the waveform. So we're going to go to the first muzzle flash and we're going to line it up. We're going to line this the boom up to that right where the muzzle flash starts and watch how big of a difference this makes uh, just even in visual visualization you're gonna think wow that that's a good-looking muzzle flash so here we go so as you can see just right there uh, that was great and <laughs> good sounding right on top of that muzzle flash and, and in your brain it kind of just clicks as a gunshot so um, I don't want like a click boom on the second one because it already clicked once so what I'm basically going to do here is just split the layer we're going to go edit split or control shift D whichever uh, you find easier and I'm going to duplicate that so basically I'm just duplicating the boom and not the click kind of using two year old words here we're going to scoot it down to line up with the second one so here's what we're going to hear so that is a very good sounding uh, very good looking muzzle flash guys that's probably as good as you're going to get it on a low budget uh, just for the computer GFX so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please check out our channel we have uh, plenty more like it Photoshop tutorials I have a 3D uh, motion tracking tutorial which is awesome in my opinion check that out if you like it and uh, anyways guys I'm Colin will tell you how I hope this helped you out and uh, you guys have a great day